Hey, what's up guys? Okay, so what we're going to do today is have a look at a way to easily create uh, camera cinematic uh, movements um, using the auto keying. So this is a really quick and easy way to get like a camera, move, camera movement without having to actually uh, move the camera from a uh, from a world space. So instead of having to key it like this and press G and move it around, what we're going to do is use auto key and fly mode to basically just do this automatically like it was a, a video game type of thing. Okay, so let's just escape from that. Um, control Z my movement. Okay, so what we're going to do here, I've just imported a Mixamo character with a dance animation. Um, so if I press play now, you can see that he does a dance. Cool. And then we are going to put that timeline back to zero. And we are going then to press zero. Zero will make your uh, active camera, um, the view of the active camera. And then we're going to click on it, which will give us the option to auto key for it. So we're going to press the auto key. And then uh, before I start the, the play button, I'll just show you if you pressed shift tilde, which is default in from 2.8, I think it is. Um, that'll give you the option to fly around. So you can go like this, around like that. You can move. So this is all pressing the W, A, S, D keys. If you press shift, it'll make you a bit faster. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to press spacebar, shift tilde, and then I'm gonna start circling around. Now, I'm just looking at my timeline frames to know when to stop. And what I'm going to do is just press left mouse click before it does, which is that. And then I'm going to press play to stop that. Okay, so what we see now is uh, from here, I'm going to turn auto keying off. Um, and if I press play, it'll come around there. Now, it doesn't look very good. It's, very, it's not very smooth. It's pretty janky. Um, and that's because uh, my mouse is unsteady with my hand. If you're super pro, you can probably do this without doing what I'm going about to do next, but my guess is that uh, you won't be able to. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to split this screen in half like this. And I'm going to go to um, the selector here and I'm going to change this to the graph editor. Now in the graph editor, editor, you can see all the different movements of the camera. So all we're going to do here is go up to with all the with all the keyframes selected, we're going to go up to key, and we're going to go to sample keyframes. Now what that's going to do is just add keyframes in between anywhere um, it thinks that it needs to add keyframes into to to make it a better um, keyframe sample. Then what we're going to do after that is, if you have a look, you can go to key, smooth keyframes. Now doing what doing this once isn't going to be enough. Um, if we press play, looks a bit better, not really. So what we can do is press this a whole bunch of times to really smooth out the effect. So the hot key for that is if you have a look in here is Alt zero. So what's what I'm going to do? I'm going to press Alt sorry not Alt zero Alt O, and I'm just going to Press that a bunch of times, hold it down, and then let's have a look to see what this looks like. I think it can probably go a bit more still. So Alt O. That was probably done a lot of times. There we go. Now it's looking much better. I'm not sure how many times that would have gone over, but it probably would have been a hundred plus once you hold it down for a while. Now you can see that's quite smooth. And then all that's left to do is um, render it out and you've got yourself a cinematic smooth camera movement. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.